hello everyone welcome back in today's video we are going to be looking at some healthy habits to change your life so this video is very very important share this video with friends and family so that they can also learn how to live a healthy life the first point is manage your stress level stress is a silence killer stress can hurt you physically and mentally reduce the amount of stress in your life learn how to manage stress if you have not if you don't know how to manage stress then you can check our other videos in this channel on how you can effectively manage your stress in order to live a long and fulfilled life also the second point is therapy go for therapy whenever you feel like there is a need for it most often we ignore therapy not knowing that therapy can help us to overcome trauma and some challenges we are facing. The third point is eating a balanced diet. You are what you eat. You need a balanced diet to be healthy. Eat a lot of vegetables and fruit. Stay away from processed food as much as possible. If you feel like you are not getting enough nutrients from the food you eat, then try taking supplements. You need to eat healthy to maintain that glowing skin. Most often we neglect what we eat and focus on creams and lotion when we want glowing skin. What you eat matters a lot. So if you want to look beautiful, you want to look more prettier, then eat healthy. The fourth point is annual checkup. Annual checkup is very important. Go to the hospital every year. Visit your gynecologist at least once a year to ensure that you are healthy, especially when you have issues related to fertility. This point is very important. It's always good for you to visit the hospital regularly and do checkups so that if there is anything wrong with you, the doctor can maybe identify it when it's still at the initial stage, when it has not yet gone to a stage which will be difficult to treat. So if you want to live a healthy life, make it a habit to go to the hospital regularly for, for checkups. Don't wait until you're sick or maybe until you're not able to eat, until you're not able to walk before you start to visit the hospital. Make it uh, a plan, yeah. Don't allow any year to pass by without you going to the hospital for checkup. This is very important. The fifth point is exercise regularly. If you want to live a healthy life, you need to do regular exercise. Workout is very important. Try to work out at least three times in a week. If you don't like going to the gym, just take a walk regularly. You can even go swimming or join a dance club. Yeah, dancing is a form of exercise too. Don't sit in one place for long. Get up and walk around to stimulate blood circulation. Another point is stay hydrated. Drink enough water so that you can stay hydrated. Water is good for digestion and it also helps to give you that glowing skin. So if you want to look more beautiful, then make sure that you drink enough water every day. This is very, very important. Also, another point that you need to take note of is having enough sleep. You need enough sleep to be healthy. I don't know about you but for me if i don't have enough sleep at night the next day i will feel weak and sick having enough sleep is good if you want to live a healthy life you need to have a good night rest to be productive the next day to have a good night rest you need to have a good evening routine another point is to limit your alcohol intake too much alcohol is not good for your health you need to know the limits you can take a glass of alcohol occasionally is not bad, but it should not become your daily habit if you really want to live a healthy life. Another point is pray all the times. Prayer is very important. Start your day by giving thanks to God. When you commit your day to the hands of the Lord, He will guide your daily activities. Another point is limit screen time. Limit the number of hours you, you spend watching TV and pressing your phone. It is good to watch movies, but too much of it is not good for your health. 
Many students have eye problems because of the too much time they spend on their laptops and phones. This is very important guys. When I was doing my PhD, a lot of students had problems with their eyes. Very important guys, because you know when you're doing a PhD, you need to write articles, you need to you're writing your thesis, you're also expected to write course papers, so you spend much of your time well on your laptop writing papers but if you have the chance to limit the number of time you spend on your laptops then you have to do it if you want to live a healthy life imagine yourself not being able to see again so this point is very important limit the time you spend pressing your phones another point is create time to visit friends and family sometimes it is necessary to go out and spend time with friends and family Meeting with friends and family can help to improve your mood when you are feeling angry or when you are feeling sad. So most often it's good to be alone, like to be in your own space so that you can think about your life and see how to improve it. But if you really want to live a healthy life, you need that social life. You need friends. You need friends that can be able to tell you that this thing that you're doing is not right. Friends that are genuine. Friends that are willing to help you. Anybody can help you. So keep those friends around you. Those friends that try to help you to improve your life. Those friends that can contribute positively to your life. Always try once in a while to create time to meet with them. This is very, very important. The next point is create time to relax. To live a healthy life, you need to create time to relax. There is always time for everything. Don't overwork yourself and forget to relax. Go for vacations at least two times in a year. This is very important, guys. It's important to work very hard, but it's also important to create time to rest. This is very important. If you have enough money, you can go for vacations to places like Dubai, the Maldives, to enjoy life. Avoid stress, guys. If you want to know how to effectively manage stress, then check this channel because there are other videos that will teach you how you can manage your stress level. This is very important. Always create that time for vacations, that time that you can spend relaxing, sleeping, eating, and watching movies, doing what you love doing best. Work is good, but when you overwork yourself, you will get sick. And what happens when you get sick? You will not be able to even go to work again. You will not be even able to go to vacations or go to places that you like. So now, if you want to live a healthy life, think about it. Always trying to have a balanced life. There is time for work and there is time to relax. There is time for everything. Another point is choose your friends wisely. Your friends can influence you to live a life that you never wanted to live. To do things that you have never dreamed of doing so if you want to live a healthy life go for friends that think positively friends that can positively influence you this point is very important guys you see a lot of children nowadays they go astray because of their friends so you really need to choose your friends wisely go for friends that can advise you friends that can that are happy to see you growing <laughs> friends that are genuinely happy for you so if you want to live a healthy life, you need to surround yourself with this type of people. With surround yourself with friends that are happy with your success. You know, there are some friends that don't like to see you succeed. If you happen to have a friend that is not happy with your success, then you need to leave that friend. Because that friend will not advise you in the right way. So this is very important, guys. Go for friends that are happy to see you succeed. Friends that can help you succeed in life. Not, not those jealous type of friends that will get angry when they see you succeeding in life. This is very important. If you want to live a healthy life, surround yourself with the right people and you will attract the right things. If you have watched this video to this point, then you are very lucky because all of these points are very, very important. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and family because this video is very helpful.
nowadays you see people just getting sick anyhow so it's, it's better for us to prevent this and you can prevent this by living a healthy life by knowing how to live a healthy life so share this video with your friends and loved ones i'm sure they will truly appreciate you for that thank you so much guys see you in the next video so